What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are going to attack the last remaining Russian settlement here down here at Tarki. Yes, this garrison is all that stands between the total, destru total destruction of the Russian Empire. So let's bring it to them. It's not going to be a particularly challenging battle because their army is under strength and... Well, to be honest, we've just got some pretty good army compositions. If anything, Mr. De Cuesta's army is actually a bit um, non-ideal because it's still relying on provincial cavalry, so they could probably do with being upgraded, but, you know, it provides, it provides something a little bit different, at least if I can't rely on having heavy cavalry. So let's set up the guns. Actually, up here is probably a good idea because they can look over the walls into the fortress. Deploy our guns. So our pikemen are going to go in the breaches, plural. Select a component of our infantry to go straight in. And then are you part of... yeah. Select a brigade to go in over the across the flank. Cavalry hunker down, general in the center. Bring down the foundations. I mean, I'm just going to let my guys fire how it's uh, round shot because they're going to be aiming at the artillery anyway, which will be useful. Oh, wait, are you telling me they aren't? No, they are. Nope. There we go. Knock down. Knock down this corner section. And then probably another section along the wall here. Push our pikes in. And that'll be that. Some garrison guards. Line infantry. More garrison guards. First foot guards. The thing is about up here is that my artillery should have a direct line of sight onto the um, the central square. But let's speed up time, because right now we are just blowing holes in walls, and at least we're not, as we're not quick climbing, there's not going to be any catastrophically enormous losses of men. And they're just attacking us <laughs> with their own guns from the walls. Oh man, am I... No, they're taking their time to destroy that section of the wall. So that volley of shots... Oh, it's a bit difficult to hit because they're overshooting it. Okay, let's make all my guns work on the breach. Yeah, they are overshooting somewhat. Hence the challenge around actually taking it out. Make sure you men are firing at what I want them to fire at. Shells away. What? Okay. You aim at a different section of the wall than how it is. Oh, my, my fuel artillery stopped. Oh, no, wait, that's my how it says. You men pick that section, you guys get back to work. Because you men aren't firing anything. Yeah, they just can't depress their guns enough. What if I aim low? Hmm, it's not normally a problem. It's not normally a problem you see in Empire. I suppose it's because I'm, I'm placed on top of a hill. I gave them a new target, which they didn't like. Get to it. <laughs> yeah, my heart is having better luck in this section. But let's, again, just crank up the... Crank up the speed, and we'll be there in no time. At the very least, we'll have somewhere, somewhere to attack. 
because I want to push my line up until... I mean, I wish someone was stood right here, because that'd be great, to catch all those extra round shot flying over the wall. Yeah, so this section under fire from the howitzers is at 50%. What time it's taking these chaps to reach 72. So we could actually get, get we could actually quite time and uh, time this quite nicely and have both these sections collapse at once. Because my howitzers are making slower but steadier progress. Even better if they can do it fairly soon because there's lots of men on the wall. One more volley from my foot artillery should take down the corner section. I might make them mostly try focus on this section here because oh, okay I retargeted so they started going after the men inside the walls because if this section can be knocked down that's a lot of troops that might might not oh, we need more than one gun they go fewer fired now There we go, my foot artillery is engaging, as are my howitzers. They overshot. Okay good, they are about to fire. There we go, not as many as could have been, but a good amount. Keep my howitzers firing. What? Hold on. Okay, right. It is... Okay, that's you I've picked up. Pikeman. Pikeman advance, infantry advance. They've got no mortars, so we haven't got anything to worry about as far as that's concerned. Foot artillery keep working on this corner section. Even with your overshoots, you should be able to knock off 6%. There we go. Oh, wow. They bounce up, up, up off the walls. I think they did. These men are ready to defend the square. Militia, provincial line, and mercenaries. Yeah. It's not going to be a good time for you. So my plan is to have my troops mass attack... Either this section is just here, or have them... Actually, I might make them run. Because they're going to be in a position to uh, push with this next volley. And my, when my pikemen get in there, the dragoons will try and respond. But they are the complete worst unit to send in. So my foot artillery, turn fire it all off and then on again. See if they do anything. No, nope. make them try and attack the men inside the city. They might not do it, they might just stand by the guns. Oh no, they are. Well one of them is. Yeah, they don't like that command. Let's see you men scale the wall. You men scale the wall, and my Walloons scale the wall. Tercio pikemen go in there, my pikemen go in here. Fire it will off, good sir. I have to charge my Irish brigade in as well, just to prevent them from getting too many charge bonuses off against my men. This is their garrison guards, so they're going to cause, not problems, but to be honest, all of you guys might, you might not even, well, some of you guys are going to have to attack the wall. If I chuck three units up on the wall, that'll, that'll prevent them from charging outwards against us.
So my men are up on the wall against the 3rd Regiment. They're coming out of the walls to stop us as well, but that's not going to be enough. Yeah, these guys had orders to get inside, but they decided that, no, they're going to run into the wall instead and just kind of be a bit silly. Attack the 32nd, because they've tried to push out of the wall and attack us. There we go. So push these men through the breach. <laughs> Fortunately, it's... Oh no, it's, it is two separate units. Okay, these guys might... Those, those men might actually win in that instance. Position these men to engage the centre. My pikemen attack the 57th regiment. Get my walloon line to push past, although it looks like. Give all these men orders to run in any the way, way they can. But you men advance to engage the enemy there. How it says engage the 31st. These men aren't going to pathfind their way through anytime soon, so just make them attack the 4th. My cavalry itself is doing good work. Once I'm hoping once these pikemen have secured... Like, I don't know why these guys are... Is it just because they can't get through? There's just no space. Or are my pikemen bugged? You men push on and attack the regiment of foot. Every my, like looks like the pathfinding logic's just broken around the across the board. The cavalry's committed, so these units well, I don't know. They're on the wall. As long as they keep them... As long as they keep trying to climb up the wall, they should be okay. Yeah, I knew some of these units would try and run through the gate into the garrison guards, but that's okay. The last handful of men are coming out of the wall here. They've taken a battering because the men have... Well, they've been engaged. I don't think my howitzers have done any good stuff for some time. My pikemen are going to charge the, the 4th Regiment. And once they've killed the 4th Regiment or done enough damage to the 4th Regiment... Ooh, the, the, they're... Uh, yeah, this regiment is not going to last for too long, so it's run my pikes over to attack the line infantry instead. The 3rd Regiment attack the 57th because they're going to slow us down if we don't kill them. Everyone's going to here go after the garrison guards. Get my cavalry to push through the wall. Even attack them. My guns to stop firing. Pikemen are wavering. Oh, what? Well, they're in. My, my, not Mike. My pikemen are wavering. Their infantry are wavering. So let's position my infantry to face off against the 16th Regiment. Get my cavalry in to knock out the gunners on the wall. Like you men just have just have orders to run in. Two units of enemy line infantry. They're gonna charge us.
So let's get my regiment of horse to charge the 31st in the rear. The Walloon line infantry are going to push up to provide some backup here. This line infantry charge into the grenadiers in the rear. Get my Tercia pikemen over to the other combat. Get my other infantry around here. Get my cavalry onto the wall to keep the counter uh, counter ticking down. There we go. We've got these grenade. We've got these um, garrison guards surrounded in the breach. Well, in the gatehouse. As the timer continues to tick. No, keep focusing on attacking men up on the wall. Because I want you to really to try and climb up the the ropes, but it looks like pathfinding has collapsed. Run my cavalry on. Actually, just charge. Actually, just charge the 16th regiment because they're right. Uh, the order had couldn't be rescinded. Let's advance onto the square a bit more accurately. Yeah, I've, will it, I've willingly got my units a bit bogged down over here. Doesn't, I don't think it's going to matter too much though. Pikeman continue to chase down the 31st. Send my regiment of horse to hit the 23rd to buy some more time for my Provincial Cavalry. Let these chaps go down. Doesn't look like it's going to cause that many problems. We can now try and push off of the wall and re-attack the Dragoons on the, on the, um, at the base of the wall now. But it looks like core of their army is retreating and the 13th have secured the central square in good order excellent so there goes the russian empire finally they have been knocked out all these little units they've sent scampering around the place should be destroyed uh, church school catholic catholics Oh no, this is a different different uh, part of the world. So yes, you will build the church school here in Dagestan. Mr. Dequesta, replenish. Upgrade, Astrakhan, upgrade. I can't upgrade anything else here. Can you chaps leave Comey? You can, in which case you will run down towards the Indian front line. Mr. Mazda, can you leave Ufa? You can. You can also run down to the Indian front line. You're going to be taking <laughs> taking the route across the uh, the wilderness. Everyone else has their orders. Yeah, you're just sat here waiting for the new Spanish to kick off. And we could. Well, next turn, this might be the turn to uh, destroy the Danish. Ooh, oh yeah, you were advancing towards a Medabad. I think I've got to, I should go for it, because the army, the garrison force defending it is quite manageable. A couple of guns, mostly it's a bunch of chaff. Yeah. Let's take a Medabad. Let's deprive the Mughals of that income for a turn. Or a turn more than they ordinarily would. Yeah, we've got to be careful with our armies in India, though. We have a reasonable amount pushed down to the pushing, um, the pushing from the northern front to the south, but the actual uh, bulk of troops to the north are still bogged down behind the uh, behind the river, trying to cross over and deal with the new Indian kingdoms. But let's pick. Up our line infantry because we're going to be advancing in very fairly confidently. 
I always seem to do... I always manage my gorillas better, I think, if I've got them both on one flank. Make sure my uh, conquistador fire it well off. And my guardia decor on the left. Mr. Mazdur. Well, no. Is it not Mr. Mazdur? I can't remember. In the centre. So they're all deployed in column at the back of the map where Quicklime could have done a, a huge amount of good. But my artillery is going to be going after their, their artillery pretty rapidly. Guardia de Corps, advance on the left. My heavy, to be honest, I might get all of my foot artillery engaging the mass of troops advancing towards us. My howitzers can continue to bombard the enemy, but once we've dealt with this unit of Kizilbashi, we're not going to be... We're not going to be in much... Hello? Tufangi. You men go deal with that Tufangi unit. And they're bombarding my line infantry. Get my Guardia de Corps up on the left flank. These poor Tufangi, they're like um, Tufangi are a, an auxiliary unit. So they're not going to have the Morale to stick around for too long. There okay, go, the first first components of gunfire being <laughs> being launched against the 38th, but they seem to be getting some cover. My irregulars engaging the bowmen at long range. That unit of levy is a bit of the dust. I might bring my Conquistador out. Yeah, my skirmishers have got good firing angles on the armed populace on the flank. Tufangi are wavering. So my cavalry hit the dervishes. Hit the dervishes because fundamentally my left flank can then advance. The Conquistador can start to just run down some of these troops that are routing. Very well. My foot artillery engage the bows to the rear. Heavy artillery engage the horsemen. Ooh, starting to quick climb my guys, eh? Maintain the pressure. Get my cavalry to chase down that Univarm populace. You men try kill, try shatter the two fangy. You've got one, a unit that's intact right here. Quick climb is still order, order of the day. These doses have knocked out a few of my cavalry. Whoa. See, they do. They can whack. They can pack a punch. Yeah, the bowmen seem determined to go after my heavy cavalry. All my artillery engage the horsemen. The mortars are soon. Aha! Yeah, I thought that levy unit may come back. Attack the levy. Attack the bowmen. Yeah, they've immediately broken. The dervishes are coming back. We're now too close in for their quick climb to work. My Swiss guards are going to push them back. Maintain the squeeze. 
There's one unit of dervishes left, which can fight my heavy cavalry. I will run some infantry up to help out, but I don't think it's going to be completely necessary. There we go, the levee's going down hard. <laughs> poor, poor levee. There we go, dervishes have gone. And the levy have broken. Good stuff. Yeah, no need to continue that on. The city is taken, and we have done the enemy a significant blow. Boom. More men marching to the Spanish homeland, ready to uh, ready to rebuild their forces and advance towards New Spain. I think they're aware something's up. Obviously units ran around us. But then again, this is what the Mughals do. They very rarely engage you head on. They find a, a gap or somewhere where they can avoid engagement. Hmm. You've sieged a Medabad. I'm fairly sure we've got the troops to deal with this. But my particular, my preferred choice is going to be to send my um, army from... Oh, I've got another... Oh, plenty of stuff to upgrade in Palestine. Got another rake. Let's get this rake. Oh, my phone alarm's going off. There we go. Let's get my... Send my rake to Calcutta. There's no... Urgent rush for them to get there. Yeah, you're hot footing it into the theatre. Santos Reyes. Zahedon is secured, so you men also advance. So I think what we have to do is, Mr. Uh, you're going to advance towards the city. Mr. Cardinal, advance here and attack that. Well, you can't attack them, you've run out of movement points. You can advance and siege Kabul. You can advance and siege Lahore. We will be fighting all these, but I'm just setting them up. Well, firstly, what I want to do is I think I want to start freeing up troops for this front. So it appears there won't be any... There's no extra armies appearing over the horizon for now. Just do some upgrading. Just because I'm hoping to recruit some quite... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm at least hoping to generate a couple more armies for the battlefield. There we go. Recruit a light galley. Lots of good upgrades. Garrison my ports. To, uh, part of my spending strategy, quote unquote, is just to get rid of some of these uh, hammers over the cities. <laughs> I do like seeing that things are as upgraded as I can make them. Except for walls. Walls never show up as something that needs to be built. Okay, you chaps also get down to Spain. Mr. Guerrero. Okay, so you're ready. You're a militia unit. You're waiting for more troops. You're waiting for some of the men from here. We've also got men coming from here. You're waiting for your howitzers. Fonzi Nunez. Nunez. Fonzie can take all of these. Actually, I probably don't want to upgrade that because what I'd like to do this turn is to knock out the Danish. So they're not at war with anyone tricky, are they? Hello. Ooh. The Cherokee, eh? 
Okay. So if we're going to do that... This army, which fought against the Mughals many years ago... Embark aboard ship. Sail to Charleston. Where you can actually... The fleet can deploy there instead. With a sloop to be rebuilt... Or to be retrained as the garrison. Then we want to take this force here. Probably push them up somewhere like Williamsburg. Where they can try and maybe take position somewhere off to the west. It's going to take them a few turns to get there. Okay, so that's something we that's something we really want to do. We want to surround the the uh, Cherokee so that we can just pounce on them in one go. So we've got two armies here to attack the enemy in Savannah. Now, two more armies to attack the core of their territory. Okay, so then let's go back to India. Yeah, there's a lot of Mysore troops. Um, but we need to take Jamie de Azara and attack Adil Baksh to break the siege of Ahmedabad and bring cause this army. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit depleted. So let's uh, use Jamie de Azara to break the siege and secure the freedom of the city. Then once we've done that, we can secure Afghanistan. Uh, maybe we we'll might attack Afghanistan and Srinagar. No, not Srinagar. Uh, Kashmir. No, it's Srinagar. And then maybe end the episode ready to attack Lahore. And that will bring an end to the brief empire of the Punjab kingdoms. So my artillery hunker down behind the lines. How it's just get up close. My heavies are going to advance through the town. My infantry are going to be a bit strung out on the flanks. My pikes are also going to go down the centre. But at least my flanks, they are backed up by a reasonable amount of cavalry. I mean, I could, I'm probably being much too... Uh, aggressive there, but... Aggressive can be good. Give them an order, and at the very least, I can, I can countermand and amend the order as necessary. So my gun's on the hill. Get them to focus this flank. Hmm, you have horsemen advancing a bit quicker than you would than I would like. Get my howitzers to focus on the right. Come on. So they're going to charge ever so kindly into our squares. So that means my lone infantry unit is going to run up to a position to engage the enemy line. Quick line away. Ooh, good shots here. Yes, yeah, sorry. Break the square and chase them down. You men hunker down against the flank of the building. These grenadiers push up to that position and begin engaging the right flank. These men should fell these horsemen pretty rapidly. Redeploy my hussars, my um, howitzers. Oh, 
pikemen are hoping to get a good charge off against my cavalry, but that's not going to happen. There we go. So one unit advance up that gap there, another unit fill up this gap and attack the flank. Cuirassier hit the dervishes, retarget my howitzers because they're about to get smacked. Engineers deploy there, human deploy next to the engineers. Push my cavalry up around the flank. All my guns blast that unit of Kizilbashi. These grenadiers attack the Sikh warriors. My pikemen attack the camel nomads. What's the new men advance to surround and destroy the bowmen that have attempted to flank? Pikes push. Oh man, the right flank, the, the left flank has collapsed completely. Uh, Regiment of Ho oh, Dervishes are shattered. Pikes engage the Indian mercenaries. My regimento, he's my Spanish guardsman. They're engaging the levy with ease. Curiosier attack the Kizilbashi. How it's a switch to round shot. Where's their general? There he is. Advance my infantry up. Curiosier charging in. Join them with bayonet attacks. Yeah, I thought someone would come back. So you men combine and attack the Kizilbashi here. You men advance into that unit of musketeers there. Get this infantry to pivot to face off the general. Total collapse here. You men advance forward into the levee. All my artillery focus on the general's bodyguard. There we go. Musketeers have been destroyed. You men charge onto that musketeer unit. These pikemen are charging. But my men are reloading. Will they reload fast enough? Nope. In they go. Guerrillas advance. Engineers swing left. Infantry advance. Pikemen turn around and face down the mercenaries. Yumensi's fire, all my foot artillery engage the Kizilbashi unit there. Actually, these two units can deploy to face them off. Face off with them, face them off. This is a Nick Cage. You get my pikemen around here. Fortunately, some of my pikes are over here. Get my grens to push up. Everyone push up to surround the enemy. Bring my cavalry over. Ooh. Get my guardsmen to form 
I was supposed to get them to form square, but no, it looks like they're not actually going to stop us. <laughs> they're going to form up and be engaged by my own infantry. Curacier engaged the musketeers, everyone else advanced to form a front against the elephants. Everyone else sees fire. So this Kizobashi unit is going to fall, there it goes. Excellent. Textbook. We walked in, cleared away an enemy army, send them reeling back towards central India. Good stuff. Lost six, 665 men, that's pretty good. Good, so Mr. De Azara, you replenish. Miguel Capitello in the city, you replenish. Let's re rebuild some of these buildings here. Upgrade the conservatorium. Don't need to worry about fortifications. Yeah, these chaps might ra raid around and do something, making a bit of a nuisance of themselves. Okay, so let's take you chaps. Can you leave Esfahan? You can leave Esfahan and they're going to gradually become more and more Catholic. Good stuff. So you men advance down to the front. Mr. Kiroga, can you leave Georgia? Minus one. You can just... Just give them a an ambitious order just to run a long way. You obviously have to stay where you are. These men have orders to advance. Let's repair this mine. Upgrade. No, can't do any more upgrading yet because we've got to do some other fighting. Let's attack the garrison here at Kabul and push them away from their city and continue our advance. The Spanish... <laughs> The Spanish are creeping forward in India. Well, near India. I suppose it could cause a bit of a debate if I call Afghanistan India. Um, but there we are. We are. We have the firepower now. There's nothing they can do to stop us. It is going to be inevitable. Going to secure this territory for our empire. Oh my. I mean, it's entirely possible to just not attack and just sit up here on this high ground and go, eh, come at us. But we are going to deploy on the field and spill out into an almighty army. Put two cover on the right just to make sure they don't sneak past us. Too many, to be honest, you probably only really want one on the right to make sure they don't sneak past us. My line is going to spill forward like an oil spill. My artillery is going to irreversibly bomb the bejesus out of these mortars. Howitzers fire quick climb or other shot and engage the enemy on the flank. So they've got the second order of musketeers here forming an official, an initial defensive line. So let's get my cavalry up here pretty quick to make sure they don't. They see that that's not a good idea, and I hopefully I want to get them to abandon the defensive position. Quicklime has done really well here. Third order, nearly cut in half. Continue to advance up into their defensive line. Maybe put my fusiliers on the inside here. And my Swiss line into the town. Because you're doing that, I can anchor my... Well, I've got a spare unit of infantry. Let's run them into the town as well. I anchor my fusiliers against a building, so it should be a bit more challenging for the enemy to surround and destroy. Keep my cavalry pushing up. There we go. Here come the volleys. 
Obviously, some it's going to take a bit. There's a bit of a delay because our men have been attacked by mortars. That's knocked men over. You. Oh, there's one guy over here that's slowing it all down. Curacier. Go after the camel nomads. These camel nomads. Don't have much of a shot. Slam into the centre of men here that's currently not useful. There we go. Just slam into the mess of men down here. Do the same in my infantry on the flank, to be honest. The enemy is mass routing. It would be a shame for us to not take advantage of it. There we go. Bit of a scrap here against mercenaries and Swiss line. But I think we know who's going to come out on top. Push up my fusiliers to make sure they aren't shooting to the back of this combat. But to be honest, I think <laughs> the end is nearly upon the enemy forces. Yep, that's the the core of their army crushed. Continue to chase them away with infantry. Cavalry have broken the bowmen. You men engage the mercenaries as well. So let's just kill them a bit longer. Artillery switched around shot and engaged the garrison musketmen because they're already wavering as well. <laughs> yeah, it just completely scattered. Okay, they're shattered now, so bring my lancers back to hit that order. Enemy general's been killed. Send everyone to attack the third order here. Yeah, they've been broken as well. Fear not, Afghanistan. We will we will be gracious and just hosts. We will turn you into a fully functioning member of our global empire. There we go. Afghanistan taken. So you men replenish. Pleasure gardens, pleasure gardens, pleasure gardens. All of lots of these are superfluous. So you don't need them to main, stay happy forever. Over time, they will just get things will get better and better. So I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay, I might just I might keep maintain the siege of Lahore rather than well, I could just fight it now. I think. No, give them give them a turn to. Uh, be depleted, and that does mean I can spend a bit more cash on my economy drive. There we go. Okay, let's hit in 10. Yeah, my armies are continuing to push through the wasteland, as are my agents. Yeah, let's maintain the push in um, India. Until we're in a position where we can, you know, hunker down. Then we can start to focus on mopping up the Mughal, not the Mughal, the, the Danish and the Cherokee. Yeah, they're starting to deploy their troops. But to be honest, I think the Mughals here again don't have as many troops as they would like. Because they have broken the, um, they've rebelled. They've, um, so I think that means they, they have to start again, I think, as far as recruitment is concerned. Or at least largely again. Yeah, George was unhappy with us, but they've got over it. 
drop some more upgrades. So, so many upgrades. We've got to maintain our growth. To be honest, we've got more money than we can shake a stick at anyway. But still, you want to make sure we can kickstart this into pretty much a level of growth that just completely outstrips our ability to spend it. Especially through all of these towns upgrades and now they're all becoming wealthy towns because of all the road upgrades and you know all the stuff that we've been doing since the start of the campaign is really going to start to bear fruit so like in my regions what's my most valuable region is England they're not too happy with us because they've got a university but probably not too far off of no longer needing a university swiftly followed by Paris by Portugal and by Lisbon. Lisbon is also not entirely happy with us because we have schools. Um, but, oh yes! I am a fool! I am a fool, I forgot about these chaps. I did, I, I did cross my mind, like, why can I see down here? And I thought, oh, it must be the ships. I'm fairly sure that these guys are just heavily depleted. Maybe that's where I'll end this episode. I'll send these armies along to mop up the leftovers. Oh, you actually lost two units. Mr. De Azara doesn't bother me though because what we can do is replace them with native troops. Get some mercenaries. Although it does say four turns. It does say four turns. No. Sepoys. Make them a bit more authentic to the region they're in. So Mr. Cardinal advanced towards Adipur. You can see the Mughals are advancing near Lahore. Demand the surrender of Srinagar because they have no garrison. There we go. I want to get to a point where I can recruit um, Gurkhas. I do love Gurkhas. It's Mr. Roy, can you leave Afghanistan? You can. Great stuff. Push up towards Lahore. Got to keep the infrastructure upgrades rolling because I don't want to slow down my men as they get to the front line. Some good upgrades. Farms. Some good farm upgrades. Everything else is just extras, really. Now, oh, the Russian Navy has gone, so now these fourth rates, to be honest, can be surplus. Oh, that's completely the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> you're all admirals now you're gone <laughs> that was an expensive mistake uh, everything else seems pretty good okay so you guys are continuing your way along to the front so let's say if I were to push up one more one more regular infantryman to join that army and Mr. Morales or Marcio Campos first of all let's move them up to yeah, you might not be able to help now because I give you one more unit of infantry okay so you just attack you're going to just chew up this force here, which is kind of depleted, but not really. That's not bad. Um, but looking at the timer, we're pretty close to the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some battles against the Empire of Mysore in southern India. Cheers, everyone.